John Abbott, Bob McGill with you inside Rico Coliseum for the first meeting of the season between the Toronto Marlies and the Chicago Wolves. Time to look at this afternoon's starting netminders. For the Wolves, it is Matt Climby, a record of 11, 11 and 1, a 9-2-0 save percentage, 2.39 goals against average. He enters off a shutout win last night. At the opposite end, UC Runes, a record of 7-7-1, seven, seven and one, a 9-1-3 save percentage, 2.58. Goals against average. Connolly, up by his, takes a look, has Ashton and Scott right wing side. He'll move it through to the Wolves zone for Ashton giving chase. Jocelyn was on it, and then crumpled is Connolly off the goal post. Scott rings the iron. Delayed call coming as Connolly is all kinds of shaken up with a hard hit from behind in the Chicago zone. Roden in behind the goal, along with Lompre. Roden into the slot. Archibald set one over top of the goal. That'll find the mesh. That hit the crossbar and went up over the net. Ryan tangled up, couldn't find it. Chicago stretches the ice. Davian head down, makes this shot on goal, and then runs over UC Runis, who is down on the play, and the Marlies don't like that at all and swarm Davian. That'll be Connolly, left wing circle, down low. Zygamanis takes a look. Zygamanis to Connolly. Hamilton in the slot. To Zygamanis all alone, he scores! Mike Zygamanis, a power play goal, opens it up. Toronto leads, 1-0. And a nice little give and go action by the two veterans, Mike Zygamanis and Tim Connolly. Connolly drops it down low, and then he lets Zygamanis walk around the circle, gives it back to Tim Connolly in a one-touch pass and over top of the glove of Climby and Mike Zygamanis fourth goal of the season and a power play tally opens the scoring with 3.33 to play in period number one. Miller from the Toronto side of center sends in Motto up against the glass. Davian took it away from him to the point. Far side Hunt fakes a slapper over to Jocelyn. Jocelyn steps in, fires, stopped by Runis. And he will protect the puck against his chest as well. Off the draw, Zygamanis. Wins it on the power play to Geisbers. One-timer, Gardner sliding over, Climby to make the save. Gardner forced to peel back a little bit with the forecheck from Gordon. Geisbers on the tape to Deschamps and in. Lifts it off the boards neatly to Colburn. Swings in behind the net, tucks it on goal, and he scores! Colburn sneaks one past Climby. And the second power play goal gives Toronto a 2-0 lead. Off the draw, Wolves have possession. Jocelyn, or excuse me, Polacek moves it into the middle and then the Wolves answer back. Sweat will go top corner on Runis and it's a one goal game. Well, Bill Sweat gets his ninth goal of the season and the Chicago Wolves should bounce right back after giving up the power play marker. First shot on goal for Chicago in this period. Just over five minutes in. Under a minute later, the Wolves respond. Toronto out of their own zone. Now the one goal lead. Left wing side, Ashton. Waiting for Scott to get to the net. He does. And that's a robbery from Climby as he slid across. Left wing boards, Domingo. Little chip pass to Acton on the fly. They shop it in. They shop fires off the side of the net as the puck was rolling on him. And behind the goal line in the Toronto zone for Gordon out in front for Sweat and a pad stopped by Runes. That's a dangerous play and the Marley's got to be better defensively there. You can't allow Sweat to get to the net like that in an easy chip shot but a big save by Runes. Gardner just missed being hit by his own man. The blocker and he scores! Back to back goals in back to back games for Jesse Blacker and Toronto restores a two goal lead. Freeze it, moves it through, give and go, but the return feed was blocked down low. Great job by Motto as he lays the body down to prevent the puck from coming out front. Now Matheson curls, fires off the goal post and out. That one fooled Rudis and nearly a last second goal beat the Marlies netminder, but it hits the iron. We'll wait with it, move it right wing side for Deshaun. Now further right wing boards for Acton in to Deschamps. Had some time, fired it to the net, tipped in front, rebound. Domingo couldn't get his shot on goal. And behind the goal of Runis to the point near side for Kanat. Cross ice, Matheson, he hits his own man in front. And That's down in sweat. front is Sweat. That's a little, those are ones that caused the coach's hair to turn gray. Grimshaw turns it over, big hit. 
As lining up his man was Greg Scott. Well, the Wolves are just that close to, you know, getting those perfect opportunities, but hasn't worked out for him. But a fall right there by Blacker. Hayter finds Gordon. He scores. Off the goal post and in for Gordon. And the Wolves cut the deficit to one. Davies to the point now for Hunt. Hunt with the Wolves in the Marley zone. Hunt curls, fires. That's blocked by the hand of Yo. And off of the glass, it'll bounce towards the Marlies, and Blacker will find a seam off the glass. Empty net, Ashton chasing down. Will go around Hunt, Ashton, bad angle, tucks it in! And the fans love it! Let it go to Geist first time will wind down, and the Marlies come up with a big win over the Chicago Wolves. 4-2, Toronto takes it on home ice.